Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So I've decided to add two extra videos to this uh, series. The first video is going to talk about SQLite, how you can add SQLite to your system. And the second video will talk about barcodes. Because in my experience, when I give a client a point of sale system, they are usually items that don't come with a barcode. Not every item comes with a barcode from the manufacturer. So in that situation, you may have to put your own barcodes. This can be things like bow pens, bow point pens, or small, small things. Sometimes even large things don't come with barcodes. You may want to do that. Okay, so in this particular video, we're talking about SQLite. So this video is going to be quite long because of all the errors that we're going to encounter where we are shifting. And so I'm going to split it into several parts. So I'm going to open this folder that contains our application and let's load it. Okay, so there we can log in. So as you already know, this login information comes from uh, the local host which is MySQL. Let me put in the password here for a second. Okay, there we go. So this information is coming from my MySQL installation. So let's check that out. Oh, and by the way, I have a new website up uh, where I've put all my courses, these same courses on this uh, channel. I've put them up on this website uh, so I can organize them a little bit better. So you can have the beginner, intermediate and advanced. Uh, I'm still uploading uh, content here. So you can check it out if you want. It's free PHP tutorials as one word, .com. So I will be adding a lot of resources here. Uh, for example, source code I'll be putting here. And I'm going to add a few other tools, uh, PHP tools here as the website grows, as I get time to add those things, maybe snippets of code that you can use in your own projects, text-based tutorials, etc., etc. So check it out in your own time if you want to. Okay, so let's go to the local host here. And um, this is where our table is, right? And if I click on the users table, this is where everything is. Now, the problem with this system is that you have to install MySQL, which can be quite large sometimes. And then it's cumbersome because you need to install two things. You're installing MySQL, and then you have to install your application as well on the user's, uh, on the client's computer. So if you want to avoid this, you can create a database file that you put right in the folder of the point of sale system right in here. You can put your database file. That way you don't need to install MySQL. You can just carry this folder and the application will begin to work directly. Okay, my mouse keeps uh, leaving and coming back. All right, so in order to do this, what I'm going to do is let's go to, go to Google and type SQLite download and look for the sqlitebrowser.org uh, and when you get here, I want this SQL, SQLite browser. So you can get the one that suits your system. I, I, I like the one with the standard installer. This zip version has no installer in it. So I have 64 bit. So I have downloaded that and it's something like 17 megabyte file. All right, so it's right here. Now I can, um, I can begin the installation process, accept next. So we want the SQLite desktop. Uh, this is where we want to put where the shortcuts will be. Maybe program menu. Anyway, you can select what you want here. No problem. And uh, I think I'll leave everything as it is. See program files, SQLite. This is fine. Okay, 43 MB space. That's all good, next install yes please okie dokie finish mm -hmm. okay so now that that installation is done let's see how we can actually create a database because this is 
SQLite browser is for creating your database. That's what you're going to be using to create a database. So let's do that. 